Good morning, everyone. I'm Sam. And I'm Jen. And this is Cat TV News. To start off today's news, we have a report that the new baseball school board has been rewired and is now in use. This is an awesome improvement, and we want you to be, uh, to be sure to get out to the field and support our Hawk baseball and softball teams. Coming up soon on May 12th is the prom and after prom. We got the chance to talk to Miss Rutherford about what goes on at the after prom and why you should go if you can. Take it away, Aurora. Hello, I'm Aurora and I'm here with Mrs. Rutherford who's going to tell us a little bit about after prom. So, tell me a little, about, a little bit about it. Okay, so after prom is obviously after the prom. Okay, um, your prom is held at the Wobbit Convention Center and the after prom is at the Crest Pier, which is approximately 10 blocks away from where the prom is held. What are some of the activities that are going to be there? So some of the activities will be there. We'll have, um, we'll have food, we'll have pretzels, pizza, um, wraps, drinks, cookies, candy. We have a coffee room that will have coffee for you because you'll be up all night. So um, we have, and then we have inflatables, which is like an obstacle course and a jostling area the dj is there it's mikey d he has games going all night long they just contest they have whole contest they have a singing contest they have the human chair the human table contest and all these different contests have prizes attached to them whether they're gift cards that we have donated or money that we have donated we also have um a cornhole tournament that'll be going on SBYS will be there doing minute games, minute to win it games. We have board games, and we also have an area for you to relax and decompress for a little bit and just hang out. So how are kids supposed to get from prom to after prom? So if they have their own transportation in their own car, they can just drive it down to go there. But this year, it's that's something new. We have the tram car. So the tram car that usually rides the Wildwood Boardwalk is going to be parked outside the convention center and take you to the end of the boardwalk. Then you'll need to get off because it can't ride down the board the ramp with you on there. But then you'll get back on at the end of the ramp and it'll take you down to the after prom. Just be careful if you leave your car at the convention center, you have to go back and get it. So I do recommend if your parents or somebody can move your car once you get to prom down to the Crest Pier, that would work out perfectly for you when the prom is over to when after prom is over to go get your car at the end or you can take your own transportation. And another thing, when you, if you do choose to do that, we will have a safe room for you to put, you know, to get changed into comfortable clothes, and everybody gets in like pajama pants and things like that, and big shirts and everything, and then you, we will have a room for you to lock away your belongings, in which only myself or another parent will have a key to let one student at a time to get their things out of there. And my last question is, how are we raising funds for this? Okay, so we are raising funds. Um, we, I have sent out letters to um, businesses, and a lot of them have been very responsive with either money that they have sent back or they have sent back um, gift cards and things like that that will be given away as prizes. Next week, we're going to start. There's a $1,000 Visa gift card that I'm going to be stationed back at the lunch table most of the time to give them out for you guys to pick up for yourself and your parents to sell because the more money that we raise with that the more money that you're going to get at the at the after prom as far as as far as prizes are concerned the big prize at the end when you stay till the end is um thousand dollar i'm sorry thousand dollars to a senior five hundred dollars to a junior and two hundred and fifty dollars to a guest so the hypnotist show will be like the last thing before the big prizes are given out. At the end of the night, the thousand dollars to a senior, five hundred to junior, two fifty to guests, and then we give out a lot of other different money prizes at the end. Also, hundred dollars here, hundred dollars there, fifty dollars, twenty five. But you have to be present at the end in order to claim those prizes. Last year, the thousand dollar senior winner was not there, so her name got put aside. And the next person who was there won the prize at the end, won that big amount of money at the end. So it's a lot of fun. I hope that you're able to come. And there's also another thing I want to say is if you don't go to prom, and you, but you are eligible to go to prom and you were a junior or a senior, you are able to come to after prom. Can you tell me a little bit about, a little bit about the parent pickup during after prom? Sure. The parent pickup is if you do choose to leave, 
before the time is up. Um, if you're 18, I, either myself or security or someone will call the phone number that is on the paperwork to have you, you know, to get permission for you to be able to leave. And if you're 17 or under, first, um, your driver's license, you're not allowed to drive, but also your, um, you will have an adult come to pick you up with an ID in order to be released. And it would just be for you to be released unless I have special permission to release like someone else. So someone can't come pick up like 10 people at the same time and leave, okay? All right. All right, just to keep everybody safe and everybody, you know, things like that, so. And my phone number's on the work, on the paperwork where they can call the office and they'll give me a message for me to call any parents back that have any questions and things like that too, All right. okay? All right, and All we right. also have a Facebook page that they can check out for like reminders and things like that. It's uh, Cape May, it's Cape May Tech after prom is what it is, so. All right. Okay. Thank you for telling us about it. You're welcome. It. You're welcome. Now for a review of the recent TinkerCon, here's sophomore Max Daniels with your interview. Hi, I'm Massimo Daniels from Communication Arts, and I'm with... Julie Stratton with Digital Technologies. And we're here to talk about TinkerCon. Now, what is TinkerCon? TinkerCon is a celebration of making, creating, building, and designing. It's a chance for people to come together and tinker or create and build and do things. It can have an art spin, a science spin, a tech spin. It's in all sorts of things. Why do we even have TinkerCon? Like I said earlier, it's a celebration. It's a way for students to be able to show off a skill, show off an interest, a hobby, and what's really important is to share it. That's what tinkering is all about. It's not just doing it, but then getting to share and show others. Plus, people who come to TinkerCon get to learn something new or try something out or maybe find something they want to look at more in the future. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, can I add one more thing? Yeah. So, I have with me our mascot. This is Tink65. And even our mascot was designed by a student. So that's the other thing with TinkerCon. It's a student-run um, event. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm with Ethan Loriello and Noah Sanchez. Now, what are you guys doing at TinkerCon? I will be demonstrating the internal combustion engine. Sounds cool. And you? I have been creating an escape room. Uh, escape rooms, if you don't know, are rooms where you go through multiple puzzles until you find a way to escape or you don't and <laughs> you run out of time. Sounds very interesting. Thank you for that Tinkerlicious interview, Max. It looks super fun. Don't forget to visit this spring plant sale going on in agriculture. There are dozens of varieties of plants at low prices that you won't find anywhere else. The sale happens during school hours and goes on until all plants are sold. Well, that about does it for this week. I'm Sam. And I'm Jen. And we'll see you next time on, on Cat, Cat TV, TV News. News.